K79 lymphema with chronic left hip greater trochanter bursitis. We're gonna go ahead and do an ultrasound guided injection of the greater trochanter. We're gonna go over a 3D model of this procedure, draining this very large greater trochanter bursitis. Here we're making the gluteus maximus muscle and the iliotibial band translucent, and the needle is draining this very large greater trochanter bursa, and now we're injecting cortisone into the bursa. You can also appreciate the gluteus medius tendon underneath this bursa. And here we're making the gluteus maximus and iliotibial band opaque again. Here we are looking at the lateral hip. You can see this essentially massive greater trochanter bursitis with a extremely large bursa underneath the iliotibial band between that and the gluteus medius tendon. So here we're going to go ahead. We're using a spinal needle to get in that bursa and we're going to drain it prior to the cortisone injection. You can see the needle tip uh, within the middle of this bursa essentially. And here we used a 22 gauge spinal needle and that was a bit thin actually for this procedure. Uh, I would use at least a 20 gauge needle when you do these aspirations as it took several minutes for us to get most of the fluid out of this very large bursa. So here towards the end of the procedure, um, I think we drained about 40 cc's total of serosanguinous fluid. And then there was some residual fluid left, which we could not drain. There may be some debris that got into the needle that was blocking it. Uh, but we did get most of it out, and then we went ahead and did a cortisone injection into the bursa, which you can see here. And here we're starting the injection. You can see hyperechoic foci, which is essentially air within the injectate traveling throughout the bursa. And now we're pulling out, and you can see the needle's a little bit bent upwards as we, again, angle the needle a little bit upwards or anteriorly during this procedure.